So that comes out to five plus seven, you know, is obviously uh, seven. I mean, five plus seven is nine. I'm, tired of, I'm not the best at math, but five plus seven is nine and plus another five, that's gonna be, you know, 13. So, so far, so when it comes down to pricing your product, obviously it's something that's important. You wouldn't want to underprice your product and you wouldn't want to overprice your product. You want to find out what's the perfect pricing for all of your products, right? You want to make sure you're able to, you know, obviously still make enough money, makes profit, and also want to make sure you're still able to generate more customers and more leads, you know, obviously with the right type of offers. So this all has to do, you know, with pricing products. Now when it comes down to pricing products, I did not come up with the you know, with the strategies that I'm gonna obviously go over with you guys. These strategies, I learned them from different books and also some of my mentors and some of the things that I learned from them. Pricing is important, no doubt about it. If you're underpricing, you're gonna be losing out on some profit and if you're overpricing, you're gonna be losing out on some customers actually buying your product because they're just gonna go somewhere else. The way you price your product is a little bit different. Now, this is something not too many people talk about. It's something that I wanted to make sure I clarified on and the reason why it's different is because with both retail offers and free plus shipping, you know, where you're really aiming to make your, you know, the most profit and maximize, you know, obviously your pricing and your profits is a little bit different. Obviously with retail offers, you're focused on making the profit up front. With free plus shipping though, it's a little bit different because you're making, you're looking to make the profit, you know, really on the back end. With retail offers, you're focused on making profits on the front end. What I mean by that is you're focused on making profit you know, on whatever you're charging for the product up front. So example, you find a product for $5, you're gonna price it at, you know, whatever, $30, right? You're focused on making that profit in between. You're really not looking to make any profit in the, in the shipping or anything. Now, when it comes to free plus shipping offers, if you haven't already, make sure you check out my drop shipping strategy that's really gonna help you guys maximize, you know, the, the leads and traffic that you're getting into your store. What I mean by making money on the back end is, you know, making your profits really through, you know, upsells and downsells after your customer buys in that free, you know, obviously that free product and just pays for the shipping. And then really making a lot more profits with email marketing, which is something that's huge. And that's what I covered more in depth in that other video in the 2018 strategy. A lot of the big e-commerce guys, like I mentioned before, their focus with free plus shipping offers is literally just breaking even because they know the power of really making that extra profit on the back end. It's a lot more powerful and also you can increase your customer's lifetime value because again, with retail offers, that usually like that customer's only buying that product once and again, you may have some upsells and downsells, but usually when they buy that one, that one product, it's usually gonna be obviously at a much higher price. So usually they're not as likely to, you know, end up buying like, you know, a lot more of your products. You can also test a lot more with a lot higher pricing, but usually minimum you wanna start off with three to four times the amount for your retail products, right? Now, for your free plus shipping, it's a little bit different because you wanna basically charge an amount. You wanna start by charging the minimal amount to really get that customer to get that free plus shipping product. You wanna be able to price your product where it covers, obviously, the cost of the product, also cost the cost of advertising, like a little bit of ad spend. So, And for both retail and free plus shipping, obviously, when it comes time for pricing, minimum, you wanna start off by including the cost of the product because of course you're gonna have product and shipping costs. You wanna make sure you're factoring that into the pricing of the product. You wanna factor in some type of cost for advertising. So obviously you're not just gonna get every single customer for free. So usually, you know, you can spend anywhere from a dollar to up to maybe $10 for a customer to actually buy that product, just depending on your ads, you know, the product itself, the market, things like that. So you gotta include some room for, you know, advertising for that product. And then obviously you gotta include some room for profit so minimum, you know, you have some factors to kind of go into place for both your retail offers and your free plus shipping offers. So when it comes to pricing, you want to have those factored in, you know, off the top. $5 for the product, maybe $2 to acquire the customer, and then let's say $5 for you to, to make profit on the, on, the reach, on the free plus shipping. Basically on a $5 product, a rule of thumb is like $13 minimum, right? That's the minimum. And for retail offers, again, your focus is to be to keep your pricing around that range and kind of test it to see what kind of feedback you get from it. Because again, your focus is on isn't on making the money, you know, on that sale, or on that sh whatever they're gonna pay for the shipping. One of the ways you can get started to start learning about how to price your product, how to get an understanding of like how other people are pricing, you can actually check out this book. It's called Smart Pricing. This is actually where I learned a good amount, kind of how to get started with it. And there's a few different things they recommend. Uh, basically, one of the reasons 
why you want to make sure you take the time to actually test to see what kind of pricing works for you know your different products and your different offers is because if you underprice your products you're going to be losing out on a ton of profit because other people may have the product you know priced a lot more than what you have it at and they're probably selling a lot better we actually made this huge mistake where again we you know when we first got started in e-commerce and drop shipping we were selling these products but again we didn't really know how to you know how to market them or we didn't really know too much about pricing and we ended up finding you know, a good business partner that we ended up partnering up with, not partnering up with, but we ended up meeting that was also doing e-commerce, that they were selling the exact same products we were selling for seven to 10 times the amount. And obviously we feel, you know, obviously it wasn't the best feeling knowing that we were losing on so much profit. So that's one of the reasons why you wanna make sure that you're pricing your products correctly. Now, one of the ways you can get started is you can do market research, seeing how different websites and different stores are also pricing the products. One of the go-tos that I have to usually check out you know, check out and do some research on is Amazon. Amazon is a great platform, great website where you can go on and see those products and see what they're selling for. Get an idea of how you can start marketing it. And usually based off the of competition and the way that they're pricing it, you get an idea of like where you can start off, you know, with your product. So you can start learning about pricing with market research. That's one of the best ways to kind of get started, get an idea. But again, you want to just keep these things in mind that they're, the pricing will be different for your retail offers and your free plus shipping offers. But this is a way you can definitely, you know, kind of get started. So obviously, if you're just getting started and you don't have much of a brand build, you may not be able to, you know, suit overprice your products. So you might have to, you might want to get started with the you know, kind of the pricing that's set throughout you doing market research and the pricing you see without the market. But one thing you can definitely do is, you know, with like your retail offers or even your free plus shipping, you can start off you know, with the really high pricing to kind of see what's the highest someone would pay, you know, for that, you know, for that product and then work your way down to really test to see like where, you know, a lot of your traffic, you know, converts with what kind of pricing, right? So usually what we would do is with our, you know, retail offers, we probably, uh, we would start it out around, you know, six times the amount, whatever the product's worth, right? And we just work our way down until we find a price point that we figure that we see that really works. So six times, if we test it out and we start seeing like, you know, a day goes by and that doesn't really get any sales. Okay, so we bring it down, now five times the amount. Don't get any sales, maybe one or two. Okay, bring it down a little bit. And we really we really do that until we get to a point where we see a good amount of sales and obviously an area where we're making profit. We're not gonna bring it down to, you know, less than what the product's worth. We test within the range where you're still profitable. So to kind of clarify on that. Same thing with free plus shipping. With free plus shipping, we do start off with our, you know, with our highest amount. Like we may start off free plus shipping with four times the amount what the product's worth to really include, you know, really um, a lot more extra profit. Not really because we want it, but just to see if people or how people will react to it. And then we work our way down between the areas where it's still profitable. But again, you want to make sure that when it comes to pricing your products, one, you know, you obviously you can read this book to learn a lot more. Two, you're doing product research. Three, you're differentiating your pricing between your retail offers and your free plus shipping offers. You know, and four, you want to make sure that you have a strategy behind, you know, your pricing. If, so again, you want to make sure you have a strategy in place. And, you know, again, I'm no genius when it comes to pricing. This is just some, some of the strategies that work for me and some of the things I learned over time. And again, you know, nothing works until you actually end up testing it. So you guys test it out, see how it works. And if you got any value from this video, make sure you leave me with a thumbs up. Also leave me a like, let me know, you know, after testing how this strategy has worked for you based on pricing your products. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the VFAM, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.